who can play this game here, comrade? A swing and a... What? What? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. And welcome back to another War Thunder replay replay roundup. Today we're going to be taking a look at Team Diddy G in his P47 D27, and of course, as you can see here, he is carrying a severe bomb load. This is arcade, so take that with a pinch of salt. But David wants to get some help here on his dogfighting skills. Uh, well, first things first, David. The uh, P-Class planes in the American lineup are all boom and zoomers. The P-47 is not designed to turn fight. It is designed to boom and zoom. That is it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to speed this on a little bit. Now, he's got ahead and dropped his bombs on the target zone and done some damage. Now, this is where I am going to start doing a little bit of critiquing here. Now, he put his nose down in a dive to gain some energy, which is a smart move. It is. But one of the things throughout this replay, uh, and again, this is just an observation, is I honestly think that David is not checking his six, uh, both high and low. Okay, he's not checking his six. Because you're going to see why in a few moments now right behind him of course is food stamp in AP 63 that is the uh, again the Soviet liberated uh, sorry, I was gonna say liberated the uh, land leased uh, p63 sorry uh, of course uh, um, D uh, David is in the land leased p47 again boom and zoomer versus boom and zoomer okay now of course he's going after the ki-102 now, we're just going to keep panning around for a few minutes here. Again, potential fatal head-on crash there was avoided. Now, David's found a target. It's a Heichel, I believe. Takes the wing off the Heichel. Now, this is where David does something smart. Okay? Now, David rolled the plane. Okay, he rolled the plane before he nosed her down. I have no idea what his control setups is. So he could be using a joystick, he could be using mouse and keyboard. I believe he's using mouse and keyboard. Now, that KI-102 is trying to take out a P-63. Stupid maneuver. Not going to work. Now, of course, there's a Focke Wolf 190 and a P-400 down low. They've got too many friendlies on Focke Wolf 190 down now, P-400 and the... And a uh, F4U Corsair is about to uh, get destroyed. Now, this is mistake number one. Notice what the P63 did. Now, this is the mistake on the on the P63's mark, not David. P63 tried to come on and do a head-on swipe. Stupid, stupid, stupid food stamp. Now, this is where David messed up. David turned. If I was David, I would have kept her straight and headed right to my friendlies right there. I wouldn't have turned. Again, you're in a you're, you're, you're in a thunderbolt. You're a boom and zoomer. Now, again, this was just either bad luck, lag, whatever you want to call it, but this P63 at this point right here, right there, uh, 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 was doing some kind of shenanigans. Okay. David manages to miss him completely. Another friendly th Thunderbolt, War Rabbit, comes in. Now, War Rabbit, I believe, has sent me replays in the past. Comes in to save his friend. Good maneuver, I might add. Now, watch what War, Ra War Rabbit does. He immediately puts all that energy he accumulated in the dive into the climb. As where David is now circling. David is now forced 
to stop. So he's losing his speed. He's losing everything. So he tries to take a quick swipe. And pilot snipes him a P-38. But he's now got a P-63A on his tail. With a very big, very big annoying cannon, I might add. Now, he's taken some minor damage to the fuselage. He starts to go into an avoidance. Now watch what the P-63 is doing. P-63 is doing the exact same stupid maneuvers that he shouldn't be doing. Like right there. Okay? He did what's known as a Sally C loop. Now a Sally C loop is where you purposely look like you're about to go uh, 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 around a target like this. And you don't. You invert your plane. You roll hard in that turn. Invert your plane. Stay inverted the way he has here. Just to get extra shots on David. Now look what's happened to his plane. He's had to invert back again. While David's managed to tuck in. Tuck in again. Now, notice that the, the, the 63 can't get a bead on him yet. So David goes inverted. Now, this is the point where I would have turned and pushed my nose up. Which would have forced my plane to go down towards the ground. It would have looked like I've spun out. It would have looked like I've lost control. Rabbit is trying to do the right thing and come in to help. Now, at the same time, what that would have done was leveled out food stamp. He would have been a much more easier target for War Rabbit to hit. But because David reinverted back up again, which caused food stamp to reinvert back again, War Rabbit couldn't get the shot on him. Now, he went vertical. Now his food stamp's gone vertical. He's now corkscrewing while going vertical. Again, to bleed speed, and this is his downfall. If you actually look... Food Stamp now has a fatal kill shot. Right there. There goes, da there goes David's wing. Gone. See it? It's now producing no lift, no thrust. He's got no flap. So now his plane is stuck. And there's absolutely nothing he can do. So all he can do is nose down, which makes him a more viable target, again, for food stamp. Right here. Bye-bye. And there goes David. First things first, what, what, what David did that caused his initial demise was, was frankly, it, it, it was that going vertical. If... Again, in the heat of the battle, in the heat of the moment, you think you're doing the right thing, you know. And now, I don't know if he was talking to War Rabbit. I don't know if they were in, in, in on voice comms or team chat or team speak or anything like that or Skype. I don't know. But what I would have done was, again, constantly check your six. Your six high, which is above you, and your six low, which is below you, Okay. Which sadly led to his plane's demise. Now, he uses a medallion, I believe. So now he's back in his Thunderbolt. But don't forget, okay. Now, immediately, he starts to put her in a high climb. There's a random P-63A that David misses. Now... Again, one of the things that people don't seem to take into account is that dot is not accurate. In arcade, that dot is just a general direction of area of where you should aim. Always aim ahead of that dot. Now, right here, I would have kept the plane level, not put her into a dive. That way, you would have gained speed quicker, believe it or not, leveled out like that because he's losing speed that he built up in that dive... A uh, 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 pin row, okay, while trying to climb. Now, he immediately verts, goes left. Got a friendly Corsair, Rabbit, and him. This 63 is dead, he knows it. Ready? Couple of sparks. Good night, Mustang Sally. Now, sadly, that Corsair, who's a console script kitty, I might add, stupidly kept firing and almost took David out. He actually damaged 
Uh, sorry, he didn't damage David, but he ran the risk of hurting David. Now, again, KI45 down low, too many friendlies on him. I wouldn't have gone for him either. Smart move. However, that's what led, believes me to think that David doesn't look down. Okay? Or up, for that matter. Because that PC, that KI45, I mean, there's a Yak Knight, and there's a Corsair down there as well. Now, he's in a nice climb. Da -da 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 you know, minding his own business, you know, when there's food stamp. Right there. Junker 88, friendly, IL-4, F6F, by the name of Filthy, love the name. But right there, down low, Heikel 51, Pandman 20, okay? Now, notice the P63 has still got his eyes on that F6F that's above him. Again, the F6F, really great Bowman Zuma. But what I could, would have done if I was platooned is, again, there's a J2M down low. There is a HS-129 down low. There's lots of targets down low. But again, he's climbing high, putting energy in the bank, doing the smart move. Now, a high call 112. Is he going to get that P63? Because this is the point where I would consider selecting him. And actually, right there, I would set myself up for the dive. It's clear that this guy is focused on someone completely different. Okay? See? He's setting himself up on probably the HS129. He's not paying attention. See, he can't even see David. Do you see? He's not, David's not even lit up to him, okay? So what I would have done was invert the plane sideways, you know, basically lower the, the left wing down towards the ground, flown sideways, if you will, waited for my moment to strike, and then that's when I would have gone vertical. I mean, right here, if food stamps was smart enough, I mean, he's got over 400 and something, uh, 300 and something miles per hour. He's going for a Corsair. Okay? This Corsair doesn't even see him. By the time the Corsair is even remotely close to it, it's too late. He waits too long to shoot anyway. But long story short, David could have nabbed himself a revenge kill. Easy. Now... Remember that random P63? Well, he's in a P47 now. David, nosing down, drops his bomb load to try and end this. Because he's going for a ground target, if memory serves. He is. He's trying to end this real soon. Now, this point, P47, he's literally 90 degree vertical. Stupid, 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 stupid fucking move. Because here comes what a real P47 should do. Ready? Three, two, one. You, sir, did not want that plane, did you? Bye-bye. Fantastic kill. Quick, clean, no complaints. That's his fourth kill this game. Again, I believe, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's the end of this replay. Again, what I would have done, David, purposely, was during the dogfight, I would have uh, uh, selected the enemy behind me, by holding down the C key, rotating the camera around, middle mouse button on that target. And then what that will do is when you hold down the Z key, or, or, or for me, I've got it set to my right, right click on my mouse, your camera will pan to him. So you can see what he's doing. So you can outmaneuver him. Do you see what I'm saying? You, you, your dog fighting skills is, are, are great. They are incredibly great. But, at the same time, what you've got to understand is when it comes to dogfights, you've got to make sure it's 50% pilot, 50% plane, okay? You can have a jet that excels at dogfighting, take on a prop plane, and you'll still lose. Because it's still about you. Do you see what I'm saying, my friend? Little barrel roll for victory. 
Now, finally that F2A gets wrecked. Uh, oh look, there's food stamps still in his P63. Now, is he gonna come down and go for him? Who knows? He sees a target. Nope. Looks like it's over. And again, guys, that was a superb replay. If you guys want to send me your replays so I can critique them, please send them to deceptivecrobras at gmail.com. Links will be in the video description, of course. Now, the plane that he was that, that David was flying is this beautiful, beautiful plane. Now, this plane excels at boom and zoom. As you saw, you, 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 you've learned the practice of keeping your nose high. You just haven't kept the practice uh, 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 of constantly checking your six high and your six low. Okay? So, the only tips I can give you is work on your situational awareness. Other than that, you are fan-fucking-tastic, David. You really are. Your skills are just growing and growing and growing, my friend. And... I'm going to end this replay roundup with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra yeah. Commander is out. And of course, the biggest weakness is the upper ma uh, uh, the upper uh, uh, chassis with it only being 16mm. So you got to be careful of artillery, even light artillery will will wreck you. You have to be careful of HE as well because HE will wreck you. Um, this isn't spaced armor, unfortunately. So don't give your opponents your sides if you, if you can't, you know, if you can't help it. Same as the turret. The turret's not really that strong, but it does have some sort of angling to it, 25 degree angling. So, you know, unless you're going down the hill with, you know,